So I went to get my hair cut yesterday and then ended up sleeping on the other side of Japan in a graveyard. Uh, that's typical. The plan originally was to go up into this bamboo above the graveyard and sleep in there in a hammock. It was dark, I got a torch and everything, but it ended up just being a shit show. <laughs> and so I just whipped out the mat and kept down there. Let me show you the varying techniques of how I slept. At first, I only had like shorts on. Spiders kept crawling all over my legs. So I put on some pants. We're actually through a heat wave at the moment in Japan. It was so windy that I was still kind of getting cold. So I just whipped on the hoodie. I'm really glad I brought a hoodie. I took some stuff out of the pack, laid my head down like this. Obviously like this. I even went for the full frontal. Oh yes, I did. With the hood over. Bang, like that, baby. The full frontal. It doesn't look comfortable, but it actually is really quite comfortable. Wow, Suzumi Bachi. Oh, I'm in Suzumi Bachi territory. I ended up putting headphones on. They canceled out all the wind noise, which was amazing. I didn't notice mosquitoes until the morning. I think it's just because it was so windy last night. Another thing I will say is from this angle, because I couldn't sleep, I watched the stars and it was freaking beautiful. I love star watching because the more you just stare, the more you see past what you already saw, and it just becomes more and more beautiful. I didn't do this with the bamboo. This basically came down with the wind. It goes to show how strong it was. These things, I'm surprised how noisy a graveyard is. These things rattle around like crazy. And because everyone leaves like sake bottles and offerings and stuff, you just hear it just going through. But I'm not complaining, dude. Sounds like I'm complaining, but I'm not. This is nice. I like it. And I feel good right now. Hopefully I don't crash. I usually crash because I can't sleep recently at around 6 or 8 a.m. But we'll see how I go. I've come all the way from Tojigi, all the way down to Shizuoka, Atami. I'm going to go to Nagoya and then Nara. I've always thought Nagoya was really boring, but the reason I want to go there is Yoro Park. There's this really cool park there. It looks fantastic and I just want to chill out and be there. And the same thing with going to Nara afterwards. I just want to chill out with the deer. I'm really tired of being restricted by work or not having work and not being able to do things without the money and not being able to go to places and have a good time because my friends won't go with me and things like that. And I just thought, fuck it. Fuck everything. I'm just going to go alone, sleep in a freaking graveyard. I don't give a shit and just experience things I want to experience. I really don't care because I'm so tired of being like suppressed and not being able to do what I want to do. And if it means sleeping in a graveyard, pure vagabond in it, that's what I'm going to do. First off is Kamini. I'm going to wash up. It'll be interesting to see like how much of my stuff breaks as well. Stuff always breaks. Okay, just got some lunch at the Kambini. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty pissed. I've just seen the mesh pockets on my backpack that are freaking awesome because you can just stash stuff in. They're actually holding my like sleeping pad in there too. I can see now it's just completely disintegrating. Don't know how long it's gonna hold up. It's the front pocket, the big front pocket, and the side pocket. Both of these. Also a million things I couldn't do in the Kamini, like my hair and shit like that. Couldn't get the, the wax thing open, I don't know, fuck it. So now it's like five, wait, six. It's five to six, that's what I was trying to say. And just get on the damn train and get to Nagoya, and then watch my life fall apart. Damn, if that front pocket does fully go, then it's going to be really hard to carry around the sleeping pad and it's going to really annoy me. 
Can't go wrong with the tuna mayonnaise and the salty salmon. We've also got that. Another reason why I want to do this trip as well, I miss the old days of first coming to Japan and just bombing it around with a backpack and a phone, just a phone to like record stuff. Remember I came just when my phones got good and um, I was just using that for videos and photos and I didn't care for anything else and I was happy with it. train forever I left at 6 it's now 11:30. tried to sleep couldn't sleep on the train it was really, really difficult I've just entered Ogaki Ogaki's a bit weird it seems like there's just like big department malls and stuff next to it so I'm gonna go in there and get some food because I'm super hungry I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere but it's still so busy so it feels really strange I don't know what I want to eat. Oh, that food looks pretty shit. Cats are done with soba over here. Hello. So I ended up getting this. It's actually a lot tinier than I thought it was going to be. It's kind of annoying. It's like a thousand yen. Could have got a lot better for that price. Outside of a mall, I guess. <laughs> So I ate that shit at record speed. There's nothing worse than being around a ton of families. Ugh. Don't like that shit. So I finally managed to get some product into my hair. But look what I did to the little pot. I've demolished it. Somehow I've demolished it. How does that even happen? I feel like I've done everything too fast. And I've got hiccups now. Every time I hiccup, it feels like I'm going to throw up. I mean. Seems I've ended up getting on this kawaii as fuck train. <clears throat> Still hiccups. I just got to the park and I came straight into like what do you call it? The the park centre? Just to get out of the heat man. It's so hot. The bike found. Yeah. I'm gonna change into some shorts and then hopefully stash my bag somewhere, whether it's outside or in. I don't know yet. There's a really cool waterfall just outside the park. There. And I wanna camp out near that. Wake up in the morning for that. Perhaps take a dip. Who knows? Okay, this is looking fun. Why do you gotta do that? <laughs> you gotta put a barrier all the way around it. I'm supposed to go in from one place. I really can't be bothered. So we can jump it. Yeah, dude, this looks fun. <laughs> Wonder what I can and can't climb. This is weird, it's like a load of jumbled up stuff. There's a toilet. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> okay, I've glued it all down. I'm gonna go high. I don't think I can go high. I will find a way. I'm not sure as well, because I jump this, you're gonna not, you have to pay for this little part. My bag. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a way to get up. I guess for safety reasons as usual. I can run up this thing though. Because it's a slippery sign, it doesn't mean anything. I still want to get up there. 
this thing looks like you can as well. Just walk up the top. That's if you're allowed. You're never allowed. Yeah, it looks blocked off. Yeah, you totally have to pay to get in. <laughs> What you get? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Where are you from? Everything. It's fucked. Ooh. Nearly walked down this hole. I can see kids just not seeing that. Could you are. I'd see there. I don't know why, but I'm starting to have a slew of camera problems. Yay! It keeps turning itself off. Actually, it might be because of the heat. I didn't think of that. It's something like, it's something like 43 degrees. This place looks so much better when you're on top of everything. At the moment, I just walked down into it. I had some camera problems. I can't find it. I really want to run around and just do everything as well. However, I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> Usually I'll be running around just going crazy. Oh, you <laughs> have <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, place is so tempting. Like to go up on these things here. It's so tempting. I want to go. I can definitely go up here. 
but really they actually give you a lot to just walk around and go up. See, it tells me here, Abu Nai. It's hollow. No point in getting on that one. These and that wall, epic. So I just spoke to the guard because I saw a hidden ladder and you can actually go inside of this thing. Let me show you. So there's this thing. I spot the ladder down here. Just here, right? You have to crawl all the way under to go into it. But you can actually crawl into this thing. I don't know if people are finding it out or not. That's if my camera doesn't keep overheating every three seconds. Unfortunately though, you can't take a ladder all the way up. Only up a little way to look for the slit. I guess you can walk up there, but yeah, no need. He's not there. <laughs> Everyone's doing like little jumping photos just here. Don't know why, you just get like blank sky. So as you can see, the guard is really, really kind. He's really nice. Tells you like all the little photo spots and stuff and helps people get photos. And yeah, if I was to climb up this earlier, or even this, he's just here and he can see me so easy. It would be like immediate kick out. I say immediate. He'd run after me for a while. <laughs> Tell me to get down. I wouldn't, and then I'd get down. But yeah, there's no need, it's so hot. And to be honest, I think they've done a really good job of just allowing you to go to high and peculiar places throughout the park. It's actually really fun. It's fun without being dangerous, but I guess it's kind of like base dangerous anyway, really. You hurt yourself so easy just running around. I don't know if there's an age limit or something because I don't see any little kids coming through here. They do have a really big children's playground outside. But perhaps there's an age limit just because it's kind of like treacherous grounds. Don't know. I'll try and find out later. Don't worry about anything I said earlier. Children. I see children. <laughs> I think I love this. It's insane for kids. What's in Kakigori, on the Kakigori. Oh, okay. Oh, what's this? Blue high. Blue high. Blue high. Mango and Ichigo, strawberry. Oh, blue high, nani? Like, like blueberry? Blue, ramune. Oh, ramune. Oh, okay, okay. Ichigo, on the Ichigo, on the Hi, hi. Hi. Boom. So it's got kakigori. It's basically shaved ice and syrup. But absolutely awesome for a hot day like this. I really want to trek to Yoro Falls, which will probably take me about an hour. And I have to walk along the road, I think. I don't think there's a trail. Hopefully there's a trail, but everything I looked at online, you have to walk along the road. But I'm waiting for my stuff to charge. I'm waiting for my phone to charge. And I've got a portable power bank as well, which just plugs into the wall. And I want that charged up too, but it's taking ages on this. What do you call it? Just really shit electricity in this place. <laughs> I've been feeling like I could shut off all day, but I haven't been comfortable enough. 
Once I get any more, my stuff's still not charged, so I'm just getting out of here. Oh, seeing water already when it's this hot just immediately makes me feel cooler. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, I want to get in this so badly. So now I'm walking up to Euro Falls along the river, which I didn't think he's able to do. But uh, this should be the best way. I might also check these huts along the way, see if they have any power sources. So many people playing in the river. Goes all the way down. So that's awesome. As you can see, there's loads of routes along the river and you can skip over the river. So many bridges, that's brilliant. A lot of times you get like an epic waterfall in Japan and it's so mountainous that there's just like one road going into it. This all seems to be some sort of campsite as well, that's close. There's a lot of people around here. So I don't know whether waking up early and jumping in the waterfall is gonna be feasible to be honest. Might just be busy all the time. Damn, this is really nice. Actually reminds me of like English countryside holiday that I had as a kid. And it's just like so much nature and streams and things like that. But yeah, I definitely just got that feeling down there. Good memories that. The bats as well. It's another big factor that reminds me of my childhood memory. Just that sound of streams. Oh, it feels so good. The fresh air, you get this fresh air from it. Got a really big incline. I got this big boy backpack. That's a good though, so I can make it. Definitely feeling it here though. Ooh, what's this? It's going into something different. The steps. The steps do feel easier, yay. Do I look wet yet? Wow. Sometimes when you go faster, it feels better. Starting to see some big mushrooms. Yeah, they've got a toilet here. Let's see if it's got any power outlets in it. If it has, I'm sorted. It's got a screw. I could probably jam it up. Mmm, smells very woody. Spider! I guess I could always unplug the toilet and just use that. Fuck, it's just a spider everywhere I look. Please don't hunt some spiders. It's quite amazing how they pave all this though, right? I always wonder how they make trails. It's a lot of work that goes into it. And how they get all the materials up to actually make the trail. Like you think of Mount Fuji and things like that. Insane, or even just like way more remote places where there's so much foliage and they build a trail for it. It's epic. Uh, they got some very nice hotels on the side, on the right side of the bank. Going for like $400 a night, stuff like that. Roll cans, I guess, with onsens. Oh, there it is. Definitely one of the busiest waterfalls I've seen. And not as big as I thought it was gonna be. Definitely not as big. Oh my God, they got vending machines over there.
such a busy waterfall. Probably the busiest I've ever been to. Definitely. Definitely. The trouble now is, and I knew this was going to happen, I'm hungry. I don't think there's anywhere to get food. I have a little research, but Kambini from where I was at before was like 38 minutes away. So I didn't want to do that then, but maybe if I set up camp, I might be able to do it now. I'm not even set up camp, just stash my gear, know where I'm going to set it up so I can come back and do it easily. I'm probably just going to do it in the broad walkway. Because as soon as it gets dark, I don't think anybody's going to come through here. It'll be interesting to see if people come here tomorrow morning though. That will be the decider. Hmm. I will say this though. Although it's busy, it's still really quite chill. People don't spend a long time in front of it. They kind of like just check it out and leave. So, yeah. Cool. It's really weird, I've just come out of the forest, seen all the light that there is now. I mean, it's only, what is the time? It's only six o'clock, so it does get dark in an hour, but it's really bright. And I don't think I wanna just like set shit up, mull around and be hungry for the rest of the night. So I'm gonna trek out to Osaka. Nara is harder to get to than Osaka. You have to go to Kyoto or Osaka first to get to Nara because of the way the trains go. But yeah. I guess that's another weird thing about Japan is because everything closes at 5 pm, you could technically just go at like 6 pm. It'll still be light. And you'd have a whole theme park to yourself. It doesn't even need to be abandoned because it's abandoned after 5 pm. Pretty cool if you ask me. Bad, very, very bad. Don't do that. I can see a Viking. Dun, dun, dun. This is a really cool place for climbers, urbexers, people like that, because if you want to take advantage of what's here, you really can. Look at that. The more I walk, the more I'm just walking out of the darkness. It's really cool. Chasing the sun. I want to check out all the um, children's apparatus before I leave though. Because they seem to have a legit array of them. Anything epic? I've got very shy with my voice throughout the day. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just tired. Or maybe I'm considerate. What's all that? Even though I'm not around anybody. <laughs> This is cool. So crazy because like you had this anywhere in England it would get burnt down, ruined. It's very cool to see a lot of things, you know, made out of plastic and it just stays in good condition. They would melt that in any European country. That's why the slides are made of steel. Tunnel slide is pretty cool. Cool place for kids. And myself. Look at that. I'll get stuck in that, for sure. My long body. I would definitely get stuck in that. I would require aid. So, Yoro train to Yoro. Yoro to Nagoya. Nagoya to Osaka. Somehow. That kind of route. I'm more interested about just getting food. I'm gonna stop at the Kambini, hopefully along the way, but I think it might be past the station. We'll see. I'm mainly just excited about going into the city and being able to get like 24 hour food. Everything flows there. I've burnt a ton of calories, just even 
Doing nothing in the sun. You just sweat it out. I've made a bath with a couple of these things. You can't see that they've done anything, but I can smell it. I'll probably come out of there softer than a baby's foreskin. One for my brethren. Have you seen these yet? These are crazy. So they bubble like mad. Here you see how much it does it. Whoa! It looks like pee pee. Why do I do these things? Pick up. Pick up. 